Monday, the 3rd of June, 2024, of the ninth week in Ordinary Time, is the Memorial of St. Charles Luanga and Companions. Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let not then Moses speak to me, but you, O Lord my God, the eternal truth, lest I die and prove fruitless. If I be admonished only outwardly and not inflamed within, lest it be to my condemnation that the word be heard and not fulfilled, known and not loved, believed and not observed. Daily Prayer Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits which you have given us, for all the pains and insults which you have borne for us. O most merciful Redeemer, friend, and brother, may we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, for your own sake. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word St. Charles Moronga and Companions This feast celebrates the African martyrs, Charles Luanga and 21 other executed in the years 1885 to 1887 in Uganda. The efforts of the Society of the Missionaries of Africa, also known as the White Fathers, had converted a number of young men and boys at the court of the tribal lord, Mwanga. In the habit of forcing himself on his young male pages, Mwanga found himself thwarted by their Christian virtue. In a moment of rage, he ordered them to renounce their faith or face execution. On June 3rd, Charles and 17 companions along with some converts to Anglicanism, were burned to death. A well which has many sources never runs dry. When we are gone, others will come after us, one of them had predicted. By 1890, there were some 10,000 Christian converts in southern Uganda. The Epistle God has bestowed on us the precious and very great promises, so that through them you may come to share in the divine nature. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter, chapter 1, verse 2. Beloved, may grace and peace be yours in abundance through knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. His divine power has bestowed on us everything that makes for life and devotion through the knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and power. Through these He has bestowed on us and very great promises, so that through them you may come to share in the divine nature after escaping from the corruption that is in the world because of evil desire. For this very reason, Make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, virtue with knowledge, knowledge with self-control, self-control with endurance, endurance with devotion, devotion with mutual affection, mutual affection with love. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 91 Responsorial Verse In you, my God, I place my trust. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, 
Say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. In you, my God, I place my trust. Because he clings to me, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he acknowledges my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in distress. In you, my God, I place my trust. I will deliver him and glorify him. With length of days, I will gratify him and will show him my salvation. In you, my God, I place my trust. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead. You have loved us and freed us from our sins by your blood. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel They seized the beloved son, killed him, and threw him out of the vineyard. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 12, verse 1. Jesus began to speak to the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenant farmers and left on a journey. At the proper time, he sent a servant to the tenants to obtain from them some of the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Again, he sent them another servant, and that one they beat over the head and treated shamefully. He sent yet another whom they killed. So too, many others, some they beat, others they killed. He had one other to send, a beloved son. He sent him to them last of all, thinking, they will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come, put the tenants to death, and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this scripture passage? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. They were seeking to arrest him, but they feared the crowd, for they realized that he had addressed the parable to them. So they left him and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation. You share in the divine nature. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 4 As a boy, Jose was fascinated with outer space, so much so that he dreamed of one day becoming an astronaut. But growing up as a child of migrant workers, his dream seemed naive. However, with the support of his parents and teachers, and despite 11 rejections from NASA, Jose Hernandez persisted until he did become an astronaut. Then on August 28, 2009, he joined the mission aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery and fulfilled his lifelong dream to travel among the stars. Like Jose, 
we have an innate desire for things that may seem impossible. We dream of a world without hunger and war. We hope for a life without heartache or death. And while we might dismiss these dreams as naive or unrealistic, the truth is that they are God's dreams as well. They point us to something that God Himself has placed in us. In today's first reading, Peter writes that we share in the divine nature. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4 That means that God's dreams can become our dreams too. And what is God's dream? That His kingdom of love, peace, and freedom would be established in our hearts and all over the earth. We may not see that kingdom fully until we get to heaven, but we can see it unfolding right here and now. What's more, we can help make this dream a reality as we develop the gifts God has given us and put them to use. For example, are you eager to see an end to hunger? Maybe the Lord is inviting you to spend time preparing meals and sharing them with people who are less fortunate. Are you longing to see people experience peace in their hearts? Maybe God is preparing you to start a Bible study or a monthly time of adoration at your parish. While you may not see an end to hunger or world peace in your lifetime, remember that these are God's dreams as well, and He's working to bring them about through you and so many people like you. So like Jose, use your gifts and persevere. If enough believers follow that model, then who knows how much good we could do. The sky's the limit. Lord, thank you for your divine nature present in me. Show me how I can help to make your dreams become a reality. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or, if you know like-minded people, like yourself, that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.